Each year, Microsoft Research hosts hundreds of influential speakers from around the world, including leading scientists, renowned experts in technology, book authors, and leading academics, and makes videos of these lectures freely available. Lewis lets you build language understanding models specific to your domain. Let's say I have a wearable device and I want it to be able to recognize commands like start tracking a run or finished with that walk or set a heart rate target to 165. Here I have a Lewis application I've already built. Let me start by showing you how this works for the application. So here I enter a query like start tracking a run. Here's the uh, URL that uh, the HTTP endpoint that Lewis has provisioned. You can see start tracking a run is a URL argument. And here is the result from Lewis in JSON format. The top scoring intent is start activity, and it picked out the word run as the activity type. Let me show a couple more examples. Stop tracking, or maybe I could say finished with that walk. Here it picks out stop activity as the intent and walk as the activity type and finally set heart rate target to 145 and you can see here the intent is set heart rate target has been uh, correctly uh, selected and 145 is the the number the heart rate target to use so now let me show you how I can build that application I'll go in and create a new application called exercise tracker 2. I'll go in and edit it and I'll start by defining the intents in my domain. So I'll have start activity and stop activity to begin. Also I'll have one other, I'll have an entity which is activity type. That'll be the type of the activity like run or walk or jog. There are messages that come up to guide you on your way. And I start by just typing in some utterances, some things that I think people will say. So maybe start tracking a run. The utterance appears here, and I label the intent of this utterance, which is start activity, and any entities that appear by highlighting a region of the string. So here the word run is the activity type. So I submit that label can continue by adding another one. Let's say begin a walk. The intent is start activity. The entity is activity type. I can submit that. Now let's choose an example of stop activity finished with that jog. Jog is the activity type. Stop activity is the intent. Uh, let's say all done. That is an example of stop activity. There's no intent present. And there's this uh, other intent that was automatically created called none. That's a catch-all bucket for anything that my application can't do. So for example, if someone said driving directions, that's not something that my app can handle, so I'd put that in the none category. Periodically, the model is automatically built. I can also click on the train button down here anytime to uh, manually uh, rebuild it. Now there's a model present and I can investigate its performance. So I can enter something like start tracking a hike. So it's never seen that utterance before, but it has picked out hike as the activity type. It's picked out um, start activity as the intent. And I can see this uh, is uh, classified correctly and I can click on submit to um, add that labeled utterance. And let's see, let's choose another one. Begin, let's see, finished with that sprint. So here, sprint has been picked out as the activity type and stop activity. So these pre-labels also accelerate my work. Um, here I can just hit submit because um, that's been uh, classified correctly. So now let me retrain this and I can show you how I can redeploy this model, deploy this model, publish it to an HTTP endpoint. So here is the option for publishing a web service. This is now active as a web service, and I can start tracking a run. I can access it. You can see here I get back the correct intent and entity. That's one of the labeled utterances, so that's good. 
let's try something it hasn't seen before. So begin a swim. How about that? Okay, it's picked out swim as the activity type. Start activity, that's good. Finished with that sprint. Okay, that's correct. Now let's try to stump it. Let's give it something it's never, really never seen before. Commence swim. Right, so it gets unsurprisingly none as the intent and it doesn't uh, pick out the entity there. The nice thing about Lewis is all of those utterances are being logged and now they're all available for improving the model. So let me show you how that works. So I go back in and edit this and there are two ways that I can interact with those unlabeled utterances uh, now that came on, arrived on the HTTP endpoint. The first is I can uh, search them, so I can enter search terms uh, and search through them. But more interestingly is I can ask Lewis to suggest utterances for me to label that are most likely to improve the models. And I choose which model I'd like to work on here. So these are the utterances that Lewis thinks I should label first to make maximal improvement. Um, so here, uh, commence swim. You can see this is a good one to label because this is not what Lewis um, was performing uh, correctly on. So I can fix that. I can say, all right, that should have been... Um, activity uh, type and this is an example of start activity I can then submit that this one was labeled correctly I can submit that now I can retrain this model and uh, now I have the benefit of those additional labels let me show you another way of making improvements in Lewis consider this utterance start tracking a bike ride so here, it picks out the word bike as the activity type, but not bike ride, the phrase which it should have picked out. So I could relabel this. I could um, uh, fix this and add some more utterances like it. Another thing I can do is I can add a feature. A feature is a collection of words or phrases that Lewis should view as a class, as somehow, uh, in some contexts at least, interchangeable. So here I'll create a feature which is activity words and I'll add run, jog, walk, uh, sprint, hike, bike ride. And I'll save that, uh, save that feature. And now the model has been retrained and let me rerun this utterance by reclicking here. And you can see now Lewis picks out the phrase bike ride as the activity type, which it should. And that's because I've told it that these words and phrases are, um, are a feature and should be viewed as interchangeable. In other domains, these might be the names of products or the names of people, the names of locations, and so on. Okay, now let me add uh, one more intent, which is the set heart rate target intent. And here I have uh, an argument to the set heart rate target intent, which is the uh, heart rate number itself. So for example, set heart rate target to 145. Um, so I could define a new uh, entity here, and I could uh, teach it to recognize um, numbers uh, in this context. But Lewis also includes a number of pre-built entities. So here I have um, uh, numbers, temperatures, money, uh, encyclopedia um, concepts, uh, and so on. Uh, these come from Bing and also uh, other places. And uh, here what I want to do is add uh, num the number uh, pre-built entity. So now let me rescore this, and you'll see now it picks out uh, number as um, uh, as the heart rate, which is great. So I'll go ahead and label this as set heart rate target. Let me give one more example here. Set heart rate to 175. Set heart rate. Great. And now if I retrain this model, um, I'm now able to uh, recognize this type of utterance. Set heart rate to 135. There we go done correctly. Good, so that's a quick tour of Lewis. Uh, define the intents and entities relevant to your domain. Use pre-built entities where 
Each year, Microsoft Research hosts hundreds of influential speakers from around the world, including leading scientists, renowned experts in technology, book authors, and leading academics, and makes videos of these lectures freely available. Thank you.